All of the big cats around the world are some of the most impressive predators still alive today. Most people who are interested in wildlife in some capacity will have an admiration for these large cats. They're able to take down prey a lot bigger than ourselves, and in some cases they target us directly. But as well as these large scary predators at the top of the food chain, there are also much smaller members of the cat family. These cats often don't get as much attention, although they are equally as impressive. Unfortunately, just like some of their bigger family members, many small cats are also threatened with extinction. In this video I'll be going through just a few of these small cats, as I'll be going through 5 small cat species that are threatened with extinction. And for our first species we'll be heading to the forests of Central and South America, as we have the Marge. These cats are mostly found in evergreen and deciduous forests, and they are perfectly adapted to these habitats. The Marge is the most arboreal of all cats, and can easily spend most of their lives in trees. They can rotate their hind legs almost 180 degrees, and this allows them to run headfirst down trees just like squirrels. Another thing that helps them in their forested homes are their very striking markings. Although these are beautiful, they are of course not unique. They are very similar to a jaguar's markings, and they are also very similar to the larger ocelot. These two species can be quite hard to tell apart, but the ocelot is much larger, reaching a maximum size of around 16 kilograms, whereas the margay maxes out at around 4 kilograms. The margay also has much larger eyes compared to its body, and these eyes help this feline see at night. Margays are mostly solitary and nocturnal, and can mostly go unseen if wanted. In the wild, they they hunt a wide variety of prey, mostly consisting of small arboreal mammals, such as big-eared climbing rats, small birds, and monkeys. They will also hunt on the forest floor for food, and that's how this unfortunate rodent met its end. Today the Marge is currently listed as near threatened, as they are currently facing many human-related threats. Of course one of their main threats is deforestation, as the demand for crops such as palm oil leads to many areas of forest being destroyed. These monocultures cannot support predators such as the Marge, and lead to a direct decrease in their numbers. Unfortunately, these cats are also hunted for their pelts, and although it's illegal in most areas, they still go for a very high price on the black market. This is a bad enough problem as it is, but the Marge are also not very able to bounce back. Marge rarely produce large litters, and the kitten mortality rate is around 50%. This means that it takes quite a while for their numbers to grow, and if nothing is done we may lose these beautiful arboreal cats. Just like with all the other cats on this list, I will be leaving donation links down in the description below, and hopefully with your help, these cats will be threatened no more. But our next small cat species is the Scottish wildcat. Now the Scottish wildcat isn't in fact its own species, as it's actually a population of the European wildcat. Over the years Britain has been home to many cat species, such as the Eurasian lynx and even lions. Unfortunately these big cats are now long gone, and today the Scottish wildcat is Britain's last native cat. At first glance the Scottish wildcat may look like your domesticated cat. Of course these two animals are very closely related, and the cat that may be sitting next to you is actually a subspecies of wild cat. Wild cats do tend to be a little stockier than domesticated cats, and also have longer legs and a larger, flatter head. Although the European wild cat may not be threatened with extinction, the Scottish wild cat is. It's thought that there are only around a thousand to four thousand individuals left in the wild, but not all of these cats may be completely wild. Although most of these cats live in the remote Scottish Highlands, most of them aren't that far away from a human population. These humans obviously have pets themselves and some of these pets are obviously cats. These domesticated cats not only compete with the Scottish wild cats, but they also interbreed with them. This means that the pure wild cat genes are diluted, and this could lead to the species completely disappearing in Scotland forever. Out of the 1,000 to 4,000 individuals left in Scotland, it's thought that fewer than 400 cats meet the genetic criteria of a wild cat. As well as almost being lost to hybridization, these cats also face some other threats. They often fall victim to traps meant for other predators such as foxes, and of course many are lost to traffic incidents. Of course there are many efforts to help this species survive in Scotland, and hopefully Britain won't lose its last native cat. But for our next cat species we'll be heading to South and Southeast Asia, as we have the fishing cat. Now as you can probably guess from this cat's name, it is a water loving species. It is normally found around wetlands, oxbow lakes, swamps and mangroves, and in these areas it is an opportunistic feeder. They'll feed on almost all kinds of aquatic prey, but will also feed on terrestrial mammals, from civets to deer and even wild pigs. The fishing cat is definitely one of the largest small cats on this list, as males can reach a maximum size of around 16 kilograms, but just like their much larger relatives the lions, they do show a lot of sexual dimorphism, with females only maxing out at around 7 kilograms. When these cats go after fish, they will not only swim and dive after this prey, but they will also scoop them out of the water with their paws. Unfortunately today the fishing cat is currently listed as vulnerable, unsurprisingly there are many reasons behind this, all of them being human related.
affected. One of their major threats are the destruction of wetlands, as their natural habitats are becoming increasingly polluted, and this leads to them being essentially dead. Many wetlands are also converted for agricultural use, and also for human settlements. In many areas in which they're found, their old habitats are turned into commercial aquaculture ponds. This of course provides these cats with food, but these new ponds are also very dangerous. As aquaculture businesses want to protect their fish, this often leads to targeted killings of these cats, and causes their numbers to drop even more. Even though it is the state animal of West Bengal, 27 dead fishing cats were reported in one year, and in Bangladesh, 30 fishing cats were killed by local people in a span of three years. This is a horrible way to treat such a specialised and interesting cat, and human greed is the only reason why they're being targeted. Hopefully in the coming years more can be done to protect these cats, and they'll be king of the wetlands once again. But for our next species, we'll be heading back over to Central and South America, as we have the Jaguar Rundi. Now this small cat is one of the stranger looking cat species. They are very long and slender, and they almost have a weasel-like appearance. This species not only looks different to most other cats, but they can also look very different to each other. They tend to come in two colour morphs, one much darker grey colour morph, and a lighter earthy red colour. Although these cats are not native to the US, there is thought to be a feral population in Florida. It's thought this population started as escaped or released pets, and they have called Florida home since the 1940s. Of course there are many other South American species that now call Florida home, so I'd be surprised if they even noticed the difference. In the wild they are known for being very adaptable, and can be found in a wide variety of habitats. They are as happy in savannas and woodlands as they are in swamps. At first it may not seem that this cat is threatened at all, as it's currently listed as least concern. This isn't exactly what it seems, as this was based on data from 2002. Unfortunately in the last 20 years their numbers have been decreasing, as once again they are facing many threats. Like most of the species on this list they are suffering due to habitat loss, but this also brings with it other threats. When they are forced into more built up areas, they often find themselves hunting livestock. This leads to direct conflict with humans, and this normally doesn't end well for these cats. This of course leads to a decrease in their numbers, and even though it's not their fault, it looks like they'll be in conflict with humans for many years to come. And for a final small cat, we'll be heading to the small island of Iriomote, as we have the Iriomote cat. Once again, these cats can look very similar to your domesticated cat, but they are in fact a subspecies of leopard cat. The island of Iriomote in which they're found on has an area of around 290 square kilometres. This makes it a relatively small island, and has a very small population of around two and a half thousand people. This cat is found exclusively on this island, and is almost certainly the island's most famous resident. They are found over many different areas of the island, but typically inhabit the subtropical forests and along the mangrove waterways. Like most cat species, they are very adaptable, and have been documented to target over 95 different prey species. Today this cat is currently listed as critically endangered. It's in serious risk of disappearing, and there were only thought to be around 100 individuals as of 2007. The reason behind this cat's decline is slightly more complicated, mainly due down to where it lives. As the island is so small it can only support so many cats, and this isn't helped by the human population. There are many domesticated cats on the island, and just like with the Scottish wildcat, these cats are also known to hybridise with these domesticated cats. These domesticated cats also bring with them diseases, and the increase of tourism on the island has damaged their natural habitat. Hopefully the local tourism will help save this species, as it is one of the most unique small cats out there. Of course there are many other small wild cats that are more endangered than the cats on this list, but there isn't enough footage or images that I can use to make a video about them. I'll put a few of them up on screen here, and if possible as I said I'll leave more donation links in the description below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, if you liked it please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these, but until next time, goodbye.